Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Welcome back. We're going to continue with our discussion and development of center manifold theory for the second lecture of chapter 10. And in this lecture, we're going to develop the setup following the uh, the nice exposition of Jack Carr in his book, Applications of Center Manifold Theory. So the setup that we're going to consider is the following. X is c-dimensional, y is s-dimensional. The linear part is the same as in my linear example, but we've included now nonlinear terms. So that's expressed by these equations. And they're differentiable. CR, R is large as required. And we'll see exactly what we mean by that as we move along in the development of the theory. So the origin is a fixed point, clearly. And the linearization about the origin is given by this equation. And we see that y equals 0 is the invariant center subspace for the origin, and x equals 0 is the invariant stable subspace for the linearized dynamics. OK, so what happens to this picture when we include the nonlinear terms? Well, there is a theorem, I'll describe it below, that there exists a center manifold that's CR also. It's a graph over the center subspace. It passes through the origin, and it's tangent to the center subspace at the origin. And we have this picture. Our coordinate axes are the center subspace and the stable subspace. For the stable subspace, we already know what's going to happen. There exists an invariant manifold that passes through the origin it's tangent to the stable subspace at the origin. And trajectories that start in it approach the origin at an exponential rate. And so the formula I just described above says there is a local manifold, the center manifold, that passes through the origin. And it's tangent to the center subspace at the origin. Okay, so now, in order to realize the usefulness of center manifold theory, we need these three bullet points. We need the existence of this manifold, and this is where the manifold idea and structure comes into its own. Remember, a manifold is, has more structure than an invariant set. It has a differentiable structure. And if we want to restrict our vector field to that invariant manifold, we're going to want to do calculus on that invariant manifold. And so we're going to need the differentiability. Then we're going to need a result that talks about if we can ascertain stabi the stability properties of the origin for the center manifold equations, can we carry that over to the origin for the full dynamical equations. And then if these two first two are going to actually, if we're going to, if, if that's going to work for us, we're going to need to get our hands on the center manifold, or at least an approximation to the center manifold that is good enough to make these two conclusions. And so that's what I'm going to talk about in the le next lecture. So bye for now.